PeachTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete from Peach Tools. Great to have you with me again today. So what's the old get going on about this morning? Well, I was at one of my friend's places the other day, guys, and he's a bit of a scrap metal dealer, a bit like me. He's a wheeler and dealer, picks up all sorts of crap from all over the place. And he was pulling an old washing machine to bits by hand with a, with a bloody crescent. And I said to him, why the hell are you doing that? He says, well, how else am I supposed to do it, Pete? I said to him, with a bloody plasma cutter, my friend, with a plasma cutter, you're doing half the amount of time and don't have so much stress about it. Anyway, that's what this video is about, guys. What's the best plasma cutter to use if you're just cutting up scrap like this old washing machine here? So, as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? Yeah! So, guys, for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is strip out the old washing machine, and I've got two different plasma cutter machines here. I've got a pilot arc machine here, and I've got a uh, non pilot arc machine here. So, we'll see which one's the best for the job and which one can do it the quickest. So this here is my pilot arc machine guys, uh, 50 amp thing, just a standard pilot arc and it's running an AG60P torch. This one here is just a standard cut 40, it's just a scratch start machine and it's running a PT31 torch. So we'll see the difference guys, yeah! I do love pulling shit to pieces eh, hee <laughs> hee! So as we all know guys, if we can strip these things out, you know, take out the motor and take out the uh, stainless steel tub and that sort of thing and if we can separate them all then we get a lot more for the machine. It might take four or five machines when you collect four or five motors or four or five stainless steel drums but it's definitely worth it to keep it to one side if you've got the room and the time to do it. But the thing is you want to do it in as least time as possible, that's what I think anyway because time's money guys. So we'll start off with the PT31 with the scratch start torch, the HF torch. Now if you know anything about plasma cutters guys you know we've got to put this earth somewhere to get the thing to work. So it's going to be hard because we've got to put it on a place that has got no painter in it, which can be quite difficult. Let's have a look. Now the only thing I can do guys is clip it underneath the thing. Like that. It's not too good for your earthquake, but we'll give that a crack Nigel, we'll see if we can start cutting with that guys. Well this is just a standard scratch start or, or um, drag tip or whatever you want to call it guys. But like I say, it's a painted surface and so sometimes it can be really hard to start. This has got few scratches on it, so it should start up alright. But we'll see how we go. So there guys, it's pretty simple, way. Eh? So what I'll do now is I'll just cut around here and I'll go around the back because I don't want to have to be undoing bolts and shit because it takes too long. And you can get do this really, really quick, guys. Well, it is going on the other side, guys. This plasma cutter is about... 190 bucks, 180 bucks a boy. Then we'll do it around the back. Here, guys. <laughs> now, wooden washing machines like this, guys, they have a, a sort of a thing, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a bit of a spring thing that holds it in each corner, so you can't lift the top right off it, so what we have to do is just plasma cut that off first, you can either just boil a hole here and plasma cut it through there, or you can just lift it up and just whack them off. See, this is what I mean here, guys, it's got a bit of a long sort of stalk thing on it, it's got a spring on the bottom. It's one on each corner, so you just have to plasma cut it off before you can lift the top off. So we'll grab the plasma torch again, guys, and we'll try and cut them off. See, there we're having trouble. We can't get the thing to ignite because it's got rust or it's got shit on this thing here. 
Now this is where we get into trouble with a uh, non-pilot arc plasma cutter when you're trying to cut up scrap. So what I'll do guys is I'll just change over to the other torch and I'll show you the difference. So what we'll do guys is we'll turn off the uh, non-pilot arc machine and we'll turn on the pilot arc machine and I'll show you how different that cuts. Because this machine here can cut through dirt, rust, scale and that sort of stuff. Whereas this one here needs a quite a clean surface, otherwise you've got to clean the surface before you can start cutting it. And if you're doing scrap metal, it can be a right pain in the bum, well I think it can be anyway. Right there guys, I've swapped the plasma cutter over, we're using a pilot arc now. See when I pull the trigger, the flame shoots out before I have to touch it on the steel. Which makes an awful difference when you're trying to cut dirty steel, or you're plasma cutting up scrap metal, washing machines, stoves, anything like that, you know. So what we'll do is we'll just rip them up here. Another side, there's the other one. Hee <laughs> they just love destroying things. Lift it up, please, blow it off. There you go. The only thing I don't like about this is it's got a guide on here, and it's alright when you're cutting flat metal plate, but when you're trying to do plasma cutting like this, when you're trying to get into corners and other bits and pieces, it's not that flash. So what I do is I just take the guide off. So the standoff guide on this is quite tight, guys. So I have to use a screwdriver, I think, to flick it off. Here we go. It's quite tight. So we'll see how it goes without the guide on it. I should be able to get in a little bit closer and cut the stuff. Right, pull it up at the back, see if it's any easier to cut now without the guide on the torch. But you just got to watch how close you hold it, guys. Yep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There you go. Yeah. So if you have a look here, guys, you see I've got some wires and shit still hanging on here. Now I'm too lazy to go and get a pair of cutters to cut that off because it takes too much bloody time. So what I want to do is just use my plasma torch to cut them off. But unless it's pilot arc, it won't work. Here, I'll show you again. So guys, you run around cutting these things up. You should be able to cut a washing machine up in under five minutes, I reckon. But you don't want to be pissing around, like I said, trying to find wire cutters and shit. So if I use my non-pilot arc plasma torch here, guys, here, I'll show you. Look what happens. Absolutely nothing. Because I need to touch it on the steel. Steel was even hard to start there because it's undercoated here. So you need to hold it on the steel to get it to cut. But if I want to cut through wire and shit, it won't cut through that. But if I grab my pilot arc torch, remember I took the guide off it so I can get closer to what I want to cut. Watch this. So we'll get rid of this bloody thing guys, see this is mostly plastic anyway, you don't want to be saving that because that's just crap, so that'll just go on the normal rubbish tin. What we need to do now guys is to lift this out over the top, it should come out over the top, no worries at all now. Take the uh, earth lead off the bottom. Well maybe I'll pull it out over the top, might be easier guys. What's happening guys is we're hooked on the hose on the inside here and there's also the power cord that runs down to the bottom of the motor that we're hooked off. So what I need to do is just cut them off. So I'll cut them off with the plasma cutter as well, even though the hose is plastic. See here guys, this is this bloody pump thing that we have to cut off and there's also some wires there that we need to cut off because that's got a clip up here holding the whole lot to the uh, frame of the washing machine. So we'll get rid of them. Well, we'll do it, guys. We'll use our plasma cutter once again. Get rid of this plastic shit. You're not supposed to cut plastic with it, but anyway. <laughs> I do. It's just a lot quicker. Because like I say, you can strip one of these things out in no time whatsoever. So we'll just cut them off. Got rid of that. <laughs> See, we've also got wiring down here, guys. Get rid of that. And we 
you can do, guys, is just blow the tops off these nuts if you wanted to. But I don't even get that complicated. I just blow it off where I can see it. Like I say, everything, just cut the bloody thing off. No drama at all for me. Pull them out like so. Then what I do to make it even easier, guys, is I'll just strip the whole bloody thing out. I'll just cut it out just like it's nothing, you know. So I might cut it along the corners here. guys really really easy to do just watch you don't burn yourself on it maybe wear some gloves or something it is so quick as well you know just open that up so i can get that motor out of there Yeehaw! in fact we'll just cut this side off as well guys why not while we're here little hose up here see that that's no trouble for Pete yeah we'll cut them off here so we've still got one pesky hose hanging on here guys so we'll just get rid of him so instead of undoing all this crap, I just can't be bothered with that. I'll just get the plastic cutter and cut around it. This washing machine is a direct drive motor guys, so to get all the goodies we need to take the motor off the drum And it's quite easy, sometimes these are quite hard to get off, sometimes they're quite easy This one here is quite loose actually, but if it's not loose it has a nut on the top there Just grab a, uh, a ratchet and undo it like so And you notice, especially on these ones, it has a very very long thread on the bolt you think you're not doing anything and you keep unscrewing it and unscrewing it and unscrewing it, but it does come out. Just lift it off like so. And here we have the magnets in here, guys. See the magnets around here? So what we want to do is get the actual copper coilings out like so. And that's quite easy as well. So if we have a look in here, guys, we've just got four bolts in here. One, two, three, four. So we just undo them and lift the whole lot off. And then we have a big nut here, and that holds the um, stainless steel agitator on the bottom. So we want that as well, because the agitator being stainless steel and this being copper is worth the most money. And the rest of the plastic and shit we'll just chuck away. And also the pump here has copper windings in it as well, so we'll take that as well. So we'll just undo those four nuts, bolts, or whatever you want to call them. I find it's just easier just to take it off with a socket rather than trying to cut it off with a plasma cutter because by the time you get your plasma cutter in there it's a really close fit in here you won't get your plasma cutter hidden in there so if you just do it like this it just saves a lot of drama so there we go guys get them off there like so get rid of the bolts and this is quite weighty a lot of copper in there guys so that's worth some money 
I would hate to know what it's worth to buy new if you had to repair your bloody washing machine, but anyway. Stick them to one side, put them in our good copper bin. See the pump here guys, it's got four screws in it, but it's a pain in the ass to take them out. All they're doing is holding this tin plate. So I want the copper out of here, so just grab your pump and you'll find that it's on a bit of a swivel thing. If you just give it a good yank, you'll find you can just take it out of the bracket. There you go, like so. Take it out of the bracket like so, leave the bracket on there because it's only worth bloody two cents, but you got some more copper in here. So put that in our copper bin. So last but not least guys, the old stainless steel drum on the bottom of it. So we need to get that out. So what we need to do is grab the top of the shaft like so, just with a pair of waste strips or something, and grab a big crescent like that, and just give it a tweak. That's it. Sometimes it's really tight, sometimes it's not so bad. Undo them like so. As you can see guys, this is loose now, so we'll turn them over. And on top of the machine there's this thing that you put your soap. So we'll get rid of him. Now if you look right down into here, you'll see there's a plastic nut thing there. There's still some water in this, can you hear that? So we do that under that plastic nut thing. Bearing in mind guys, I'm showing you how to do all this, but you can do it really, really quick. Oh, there's a plastic nut thing. And then it's got the agitator bit. Pull that bit out like so. Yeah, what could I make out of that? That's interesting. Hey, it looks like a space rocket. <laughs> You're an idiot, mate. Here we got our stainless steel bowl. Plastic off the top of it, guys. Get it. Yeah! More junk. Actually, there's a good shaft in the bottom of the guys. There's still a good shaft in there. You might want to use that for something else. There we go. And I would actually save that bearing as well, guys. Because you never know. <laughs> good piece of steel here. Here we have our dirty stainless steel drum guys. So we just take the plastic off the top of it, off the bottom of it, and then we can put it in our stainless steel pile. Yeah! So guys, that was that about what it was worth. Now you know how to disassemble a wash machine and how long it takes with a plasma cutter. A lot easier with a plasma cutter than trying to do it with a bloody crescent and other bits and pieces. Especially if you get into it in the first place, you can just rip into it and start ripping the bits out of it. I mean, if you once you get good at that, you can do that in like five minutes flat. Anyway guys, that's enough bullshit for me for this week. Same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you want to see a review on that Pilot Arc machine, check up there. Or if you want to figure out how to bend steel with your plasma cutter without actually cutting it, check up there. See you guys, bye!